hopefully you'll have noticed that um, in your, your bullets that we reduced the number of readings, I thought I was a good news jar, a whole lot of stuff, so that we can actually get through with about 15 minutes to spare and do a bit of a town hall and a chance to share some information, to hear some questions, to have some conversation. So our service begins in your bulletin with the gathering of the community and the responses. God of God, light of light, true God of true God, we bless you. Objects of the Magi's search, subjects of an old man's song, fulfillment of the Baptist's preaching, we bless you. Mary's son, Joseph's son, God's only son, we bless you. We pray together the collect for this day. Provoking God, calling us to the face of the other, free our fickle hearts from our need to divide and exclude both the foreign and the mystic. Lead us through the storms of rage to a clear and new beginning through Jesus Christ. Whom hatred cannot touch. Amen. And we'll continue with the song which Lorraine is going to read us. I will read us it. The song is song number 71, found on page 795 in your service book. We will read verses 1 through 16 responsibly on the half verse. In you, O oh Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my friend. Deliver me, my God, from the hands of the wicked, from the clutches of the evil doer and the oppression. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence in the heart of God. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb, you have been my strength. My praise shall be always in the I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise. And your glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in my old age, or save me not in my strength today. For my enemies are plotting against me. And those who lie in wait for my life take a counsel of the right. They say, God has forsaken him. Go after him and seize him. Because there is none who will say, O oh God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O oh my God. Let those who set themselves against me be put to shame and be disgraced. Let those who seek to do me be covered with the scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait with patience and shall pray to you more and more. My mouth shall recount your mighty acts and saving deeds all day long, though I cannot know the number of them. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness to yours alone. Holy God, be our strength and our salvation, that we may never be ashamed to praise you for your mighty acts. We ask this through Jesus Christ. Jesus began to say to them, 
Father can tell. But the truth is, there were many widows in Israel in the time of Elijah, when the heavens were shut up three years and six months. And there was a severe famine all over the land. Yet Elijah was sent to none of them, except to a widow at their son in Sidon. There were also many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elisha. And none of them were cleansed, except Naaman the Syrian. When they heard this, all the synagogue were filled with rage. They got up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built, so that they might throw him off the cliff. But he passed through the midst of them and went on his way. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is my very great pleasure uh, to be able to install your new wardens and parish council for the coming year. I know that the wardens are going to say no to thank you when we get to the town hall, but I want to also call out a couple of people. One is Miriam Fluitt, uh, who's not with us this morning, is not coming out currently. Um, is just not able to. But we are so grateful at St. Paul for her work and her leadership both as warden, that's before I arrived, <laughs> and then also as parish council for this past night. Mary has decided to step down currently, um, and I think just even for the sake of the rest of us to know this is not a life sentence, that is actually really good modeling <laughs> to see that from time to time you also step back. So thank you to Mary for her service. And the other person I want to thank personally is Sherry, who came in skipping this morning because she's no longer warden. <laughs> now, if in fact she actually manages to not be quite as busy, I will be amazed. Um, <laughs> but I also just want to say thank you, Sherry. You are certainly very much the person who, as I arrived at the intro, kind of walked me through things, kind of put up with my my millions of questions about how do things happen here at St. Paul's and what needs to be done. And she's never once openly rolled her eyes at me, which is quite a feat in and of itself. <laughs> so thank you. I know the warden is also going to want to say thank you, but thank you for me as well. Yes, absolutely. It's always good when you can make her look slightly better. That's always a lovely thing. <laughs> Normally, if I do the installation, I'd invite members who are going to serve to come up to the front. But in the interest of social distancing, I'm going to suggest that I'm going to go through the list and read everyone's name and their position. And I would invite you to simply stand where you are, and we'll do the installation that way, okay? But we'll start, it's on your insert. I'll read the positions shortly. But we'll start with this invitation. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we are all baptized by the one Spirit into one body and given gifts for a variety of ministries for the common good. <coughs> Our purpose today is to recognize and affirm the ministry for which these persons have offered themselves. And for the year 2022, here at St. Paul's, the following members will hold office. So your treasurer is Ray Ford. You would stand. Your vestry clerk is Bonnie Massey. You would stand too. Your Anglican Fellowship Prayer Rep is Barbara Dyson. And your PWRDF Rep, Eileen Carter. Your church wardens are Frank Eckbell and Lance Barrowford. And the deputy warden is Ellen Redd. The lay delegates to Synod are Eileen Bart and Ellen Redd. And the altar lay delegates are Cindy Rivian and Frank Eckbell. <coughs> the members of Parish Council are Bonnie Massey, Bill Brooks, Max Simpson, Ray Ford,
Sherry the recruiter, who we are so glad is going to remain on the council. Sherry McLeod, Michelle Buchanan, and Barbara Collier Blackburn. So I now ask you, the congregation, is it your will that these people, Ray Ford, Frank Edwell, Lance Barrett, Ellen Redden, Eileen Mark, Bonnie Mackey, Barbara Dyson, Cindy Rayner, Bill Brooks, Matt Simpson, Sherry Lassiter, Sherry McLeod, Michelle Buchanan, and Barbara Collier Blackburn fulfill these ministries? It is. Ray, Frank, Lance, Ellen, Eileen, Bonnie, Barbara, Cindy, Bill, Matt, Sherry, Sherry, Michelle, and Barbara. So we love them so long with their name. All of you have been called to this ministry of leadership in this congregation. Will you, as long as you are engaged in this work, perform it with care to the honor of God and the benefit of the church. I ask you, the congregation, will you uphold these people in this service? We will. And we pray. Blessed are you, gracious God, our Creator and Redeemer. In every age, you call people to minister in your name. May the work of these your servants so build up your church that we may faithfully serve you and show your love in all the world. Blessed are you, O God, now and forever. Amen. Ray, Frank, Lance, Ellen, Eileen, Bonnie, Barbara, Cindy, Bill, Matt, Sherry, Sherry, Michelle, and Barbara. The Lord enable and uphold you in this ministry. Amen. Our service continues with the prayers of the people. We are using Litany number 13 again on page 110. Let us pray. In joy and humility, let us pray to the creator of the universe, say, Lord, grant us peace. By the good news of our salvation brought to Mary by the angel, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the mystery of the Lord made flesh, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the birth in time of the time of the Son of God, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the manifestation of the King of glory to the shepherds in Bethlehem, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the submission of the Maker of the world to Mary and Joseph of Nazareth, hear us, O Lord. 
time he was handed over to suffering and death, took breath, and gave you thanks, saying, Take and eat. This is my body which is broken for you. In the same way, he took the cup, saying, this is my blood which is shed for you. When you do this, you do it in memory of me. Remembering therefore his death and resurrection, we offer you this bread and this cup, giving thanks that you have made us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church. Gather into one all who share in these sacred mysteries, filling them with the Holy Spirit and confirming their faith in the truth, that together we may praise you and give you glory through your servant, Jesus Christ. All glory and honor are yours, Father and Son, with the Holy Spirit in the Holy Church, now and forever. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Sentence number six for the breaking of bread. We break the bread of life, and that life is the light of the world. So I pray on us, light in the face of us, bring us to the light of the light. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Amen.
say together the prayer after communion. Radiant God, with our eyes we have seen in your salvation, and in this meal we have feasted on your grace. May your word take flesh in us, so that we may be your holy people, revealing your glory made known to us in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Starshine, moonshine, and sunshine, we will walk with God. Mountains, main roads, side tracks, we will walk with God. Questions, answers, mysteries, we will walk with God. Backwards, onwards, homewards, we will walk with God. And the blessing of God, Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer, be with you and with all those who you love and pray for, this day and forevermore. Our final hymn is We Praise You, O God, number 342, verse 1 and 2.
clergy, you know. <laughs> Today we just want to extend a heartfelt thank you to two wonderful ladies in our congregation, Mary Collett, who decided just over a year ago to sat down for the awards, which opened the door for me to volunteer to try and fill her shoes. Not an easy task. This year she decided to step away from parish council and let someone else take her torch. So Miriam, we thank you, we know you're not here, and hopefully she'll uh, get this message to thank you for everything she's done and continues to do for us at St. Paul's. <laughs> then we have another big thank you to Sherry Lissier. For six years, she voted as a warden and many, many other roles that are endless and not enough paper to write on. I was very lucky to have Sherry by my side to teach me the duties of the warden. And she's been extremely dedicated and always shows great leadership, which she will now put to use on her seat on Parish Council. So thank you very much, Sherry, for everything you continue to do, and we look forward to hearing you on Council. Let's get these two ladies who have one house of love. Say a few things. I mean, if you want to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you you um, you know, so we can just say a few things. If you take a little walk downstairs later, you'll see that part of the hallway is now uh, blocked off uh, toward the uh, toward the uh, the washroom facility. And it is because they're starting renovations already. So renovations that are going on downstairs for the new showers and and laundry room are going to be take are going to take about 45 days. Uh, that's the projected time to do that. So uh, you'll see that down there. It's going to be a bit of a mess there for a while. You'll see a lot of people with drapes on downstairs as they come and go with uh, construction materials. Uh, and that's all. That's all good. Does anybody have any questions about the Connection Center? I think we sent everybody a report via email on the people that they've been serving and what's been happening there. Uh, any questions on that at all? No? Yes, go ahead. Thank you. 
Magnets and circles have been donating needles that can hand the pictures that play at the end of the day from circles. And it comes here, Magnet packs it up, um, and it does in individual servings, and they freeze it so that it can then be heated up and given to people when they come in. We have permission from public health, so long as we are serving individual cloth needles and not doing a community meal, right? Um, for individuals who come in. So we are able to share the connection center able to be able to get. Sure, go ahead.
what we're here for. You were here to be sent up to do the work. So you probably stop preaching for me. Somebody <laughs> had to do a sermon today. <laughs> so, fine. Thank you. 
actually I'll just jump in again. Because some of you know I was having a meeting with someone from the Trinity Centers Foundation, um, which are they actually do have a development uh, here in town, right? In terms of looking at other uses for buildings, so I did have that meeting. Um, and she's currently, the contact is currently looking into some information around grants uh, in particular uh, that might be available for us for the building, especially now that we've got uh, other outreach happening out of it, as well as other possibilities uh, that we could look at for use of the building. The other uh, quite hopeful thing, I think, is that I have a meeting set with the wardens from St. James for the first week in March. Um, just to talk about possibilities as we both move forward, both congregations in terms of replacement. Not talking about amalgamation, not even talking about just sharing one priest between two, but talking about some intentional shared ministry between the two, and the Lord is quite open to that, so I'm really, really excited to talk about this. Thank you all for saying. Go be wonderful. One more question. <laughs> And Sherry, do you want to say something about the fundraiser? And you and I were talking, if you would like to support the fundraiser, but you would not use the coupons, do not purchase it for $22. Make a donation to the church for $20. That way we get the full $20 instead of $10 from the $22. So, yeah, but still put it through. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everybody.